Hey guys and welcome to the channel, I'm Zemo, the dad in DPS, and I am here to tell you that Minerva is back in Appalachia over at the... ...for the next four days until the 24th, so make sure you get down here and get those deals, because there's some very, very good things on here this time. So Minerva, let's see what you've got today. Now first off, we're going to talk about weapons. There are four weapons on here. There is the Cattle Prod, the Gauntlet, the Gauss Pistol, and the um, the Warglaive. Now, if you are melee, you definitely want to unlock that Warglaive and that uh, Gauntlet. They are two of the best melee weapons in the game. And if you're running a pistol build, I would recommend that you unlock the Gauss Pistol. It's a very fun little gun. The only one I'd say isn't that important is Cattle Prod, but at the same time, that has been buffed recently, so it would be a relatively interesting weapon to go for. Um, but what I would say about any of these weapons is if you are not intending to use melee on this character that you're on, do not unlock the melee weapons. And if you're not intending to use a pistol on the character you're on, do not unlock the Gauss pistol. Essentially, all these weapons, if they are found, if they're picked up, are undroppable, and therefore, if you get a god roll on the wrong character, then you can't really do much with it unless you make a build around it. It really depends on how you play and what you do. So keep that in mind. Don't dilute your loot pool by getting plans you don't need. Now for armor, there is a couple of different options. The first is the Chinese stealth armor and helmet, which is basically a radiation suit and helps you run around in areas where you can't. You know, if you're not power armor, this is definitely something I'd recommend you pick up um, to play around with. Then we have the secret service armor. Now the full set is on here for you to unlock. There is two mod plans for it. They're both crap. Don't don't do not unlock those plans. They're just useless. But you can get the full secret service armor, which means you can then craft it, which then you can roll legend legendaries for it and find legendaries of it in the uh, overworld. Then we have the Strangler Heart armor set. Now this is not for the faint of heart. Do not buy this and don't craft this unless you want to waste a lot of modules on a very large amount of nothing. Um, I have spent so many modules so far trying to craft a perfect set of this. It is not going well. I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> now in terms of general kind of things, you've got some Warglaive Plasma and Cryoblade mods. You've also got some Gauss minigun mods as well. If you need any of these, I'd pick them up. There's also the Grocer Backpack mod as well as the Backpack mod for Chemist. Now, both of these are two sides of the same coin. They take the place of essentially a perk card in your, your, your set, whether it be, um, I'm trying to think of the name of it, through Hiker and the chemistry one that's in uh, strength that reduces the weight of chems. Basically, if you don't have power armor, then get one of these mods. And if you don't have the one that gives you increased carry weight, like up to 120 carry weight, then one of these mods is vital because it will reduce the amount of perk cards you're using, which then gives you more options for other perks to use. Um, other than that, though, there isn't a huge amount on here. You have several linings for the Secret Service Under Armour. Both of them are the bad ones. You want the... Um, Oh god, I forget the name of it, but it begins with an S. Um, but you don't want any of them. They are the bad one. Shielded. It's shielded. You don't want the ones that are on there. So do not unlock them. They're kind of pointless. But everything else is kind of random and not really worth your time. So that's pretty much what I would suggest, you know. Get the, the uh, Secret Service armors, get the weapons, get the uh, Chinese stealth suit and the backpack mods. Other than that, there's not a huge amount on here. Either way, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you all next time in the wasteland. Feeling the heat, I'm taking it down.